Hi, welcome to Hello LA TV. I'm Hannah and I'm honored to be here with Mario Arteaga, a most amazing artist from the spray paint world to the young world. Mario, would you tell us a little bit about who you are and what your artistic passion is? My artic artistic passion is to be, um, just to be happy and to be around a lot of beautiful people. What is it that you do as an artist? What is your method? What is your medium? What is your process as an artist? I have like a million mediums and I can touch it up, switch it up on you. And I just, you know, I can do anything you can think of. And I just have fun doing it. What is the main reason why you became an artist? It's just uh, I saw a graffiti artist on TV. And God damn it, I forgot it, what his name was. But he drew cops eating donuts with pig faces and then I was like dude this guy is fucking the shit and I was like I want to be like this guy so where was the first place you ever created art the first place I created art was in kindergarten I made uh, I why my dad used to own a bunch of rabbits and the the competition was to paint a dra uh, rabbit yeah, and then in kindergarten, I won the contest. I drew like a rabbit. And I didn't think it would look good, but whatever. But I won the contest, so. I'm like, well, if, if it's that easy to win, I will just kept winning every contest from there to high school, you know? Yeah. What high school did you go to? I went to Nogales High School. Where is Nogales High School? Like a ghetto-ass place in La Puente. There's not much art there, but... From there, they sent me to college when I was like 15 years old. What college did you go to? An artist college? What college did you go to? Yeah, to Otis College. Oh, Otis College of the Arts. That's a very fancy art school. Yeah, it's fancy, yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about how fancy you are in the graffiti world? Like, you know, a little story, a little where you came from, a little who you are in the fancy art world? Yeah, I mean, I've been in the underground graffiti world for a long time, and everyone in the graffiti world, you know, if you've ran into me, you know who I am. It's just, I've just been in the underground for so long, you know. What was the first thing you spray painted? First place I, uh, I was in, uh, I, it was in the city of Almonte. Uh-oh, was yeah. it illegal? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you what I did. How long? When was it? Okay. I can kill if I say. Really? All right. Well, we won't tell anybody. It was in <laughs> Pico Rivera. Pico Rivera. <laughs> I did it by myself. But I had a few people come. Um, what is it? Hold me on ropes. Oh, no way. So you were up high? Yeah, I was like, like 40 feet in the air. So where were you? It was just like a overhand, like a bridge. Wow. Yeah. And you hung from the bridge down? Well, I had ropes with knots, and then I just would hang. Like, I had three people on the back of the bridge. And it's like... So they all had to go like this in the train tracks. So you have one person, two people, three people. Then you throw the rope underneath their legs. And then you toss the, the rope over, and then you have the knots. So you have to climb over with the knots, and then, then you do your painting. What has being an underground artist taught you to believe, feel, think, create as an artist? Um, just to break rules, break laws, you know. And then, and then I taught them how to, you know, how to paint, you know, how to things because most of them they they'll have a sketch and they're like okay so sometimes I'm in graffiti competitions and you know they'll bring invite someone from San Francisco San Diego New York whatever and then but the thing is when everyone's like okay everyone's looking at a sketch meanwhile I'm just painting so I'm like done way faster before anybody's done and sometimes if I want to mess with you I'll, I'll use to spray cans with big fat caps where it blows out so much paint where you can't even see your own painting next to me <laughs> so in a way it's kind of cheating and you can't even handle the fumes so it's just like so you can't even do your own painting mario what is your goal what is it your wish to have your viewers walk away with when they view your art 
try to create something pretty or whatever, something beautiful. I just want people to see something that might be make them happy. How do you choose which area it is or what it is that you want people to be happy? Yeah, well, like human psychology, it's like, um, you know, if you draw a, a vagina. So say I've drawn murals and then I have a vagina overlapping, which is like a figure eight. Overlapping, overlapping, and then I do an abstract over it. And then people might not understand the abstract, but then they're like, I don't know why I like it, but you know, I just, I just love it. But because, you know, I know like humans, like, yeah, they love vaginas. Or I could draw like boobs over and over again and then I'd do an abstract on top of it. And they're like, oh my God, I don't know why I like it, you know. But if it's for women, you know, I draw a big weenie over and over and over again. I think he just said the word weenie. <laughs> We think you're amazing, Mario, and we can't wait to see more of your art. That's Mario, M-A-R-I-O-E. Or you can call him Mariachi, as we do down here at Hello LA TV. Thank you so much, Mario. I'm honored to be here with you today and really blessed to have this amazing backdrop, something that he's done and we kind of found hidden in the side hallways. Yeah? Yeah. So keep on keeping on, everybody, and keep on rocking and rolling through your empire. Thank you so much for visiting us here at Hello LA TV. Love ya.